This is ARK, but in virtual reality. Otherwise known as ARK Park, this VR spin-off brings most things from your day-to-day -day ARK into VR, including crafting, fighting dinosaurs, and even a story mode. But what's really the purpose of ARK Park, and why did it never really take off like how they probably wanted it to? I'm going to go over these things and more in today's video, so make sure to stick around, grab a snack, and let's get started. ARK Park was supported on PlayStation VR, HTC Hive, and Oculus Rift. It's still up, but I myself can't play it because it's unfortunately not supported on Quest 3, so no gameplay from me today. But still, when I scrolled down to the reviews, I was met with some pretty bad impressions, and I don't even think I'd buy it if I could, based on some of these reviews. From what I could tell, people said the gameplay was, quote, Once the novelty wore off, you soon grew bored, and then proceeds to talk about the 4GB update that it had, which is absolutely wild, especially for VR storage. The price for Arc Park is $40, and most reviews say that this is a scam as well, with the game not even loading sometimes. You can also play actual Arc on VR using Steam VR, but I can't do that until I get a PC, and that's not really actual virtual reality. And also, subscribe so I can get a PC. But anyways, Arc Park at first glance looks like a failed attempt at gaining more popularity for Arc, which, don't get me wrong, that was a good idea. But let's dive deeper into this rabbit hole and find out much more interesting things. Released on March 22nd of 2012, it lets you collect dinosaur DNA, raise your own dinosaurs, and apparently defend vital technology, which I'm guessing is this part of the trailer. One reason I think it might have not succeeded is the clear plagiarism of Jurassic Park, even having the word Ark Park in its name, and you can see the gates that are practically identical to the ones from Jurassic Park movies while watching the trailer. I first thought it might have just been the name, but it crossed the line when I saw the gates. Another reason that this might not have worked is because of Snail Game's ultimate enemy, Optimization. Every ARC version has at least a little bit of optimization problems, but from the reviews on this one, it seems that ARC Park got the worst of it. I'm honestly surprised that the game's even on Oculus Store still, after all these years with only 2.4 stars and 38 ratings. This game only really sticks out to me because of the fact that they're using ARC assets, and that would be pretty cool to see in virtual reality. But still, I believe Ark Park was a good concept, but maybe sticking a little too close to the concept of Jurassic Park. And the price tag was outrageous for the apparent lack of gameplay showed in the reviews. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and join the Discord server. The link will be in the description. Anyways, see you guys next time.